So the Luther Vandross never too much documentaries, you know, being documented, people talking about it and so and there's so much to explore. He's one of the greatest artists ever. He should be a Hall of Famer. That should be no doubt. I mean, Never Too Much was an incredible song. He had been doing jingles for years. He did Sesame Street. He did Young Americans with David Bowie. He did Background with Roberta Flag. He did Yowza, Yowza, Yowza with Chic. He did Popular Background Vocals with Sissy Houston on Shaka Khan. He had to perform with a whole lot. Yes, I go back with Luther. Fonzie Thornton, his homeboy background singer. They, they were uh, so many things, so much. One of the most important singer songwriters, producers, too, because right of jump to it for Aretha Franklin. The great musical partnership with him and Marcus Miller, Nat Adley Jr., the incredible. And of course, we know about House is Not a Home. Act like you don't know. Took that from Dion Warwick and never gave it back. He could take your song and not give it back. He was that great. And he was great. And as a singer songwriter, too, man could perform on stage. Incredible. The downsides is never finding happiness, never finding love. People question uh, his preferences, which will be documented. All that comes to light. Dealing with the industry, being racist industry, because because he kept on going with his size. You know, allegedly, Tom Matola said he was calling him out, called him fat, and said he kept making the same record. And that was a diss that Fat Joe said back in 03. And there's always, he wanted to be crossover. He never felt like he got the... Uh, got his love you know because the truth is is that he was considered too black we love luther big fat small the jerry curl that didn't quite jiggle all the way out it was loose on the head greasy but he remember on soul train him and cheryl Lynn performing of this world with mine live which was rare but he could bring it he could bring it that was a singer singer a professional's professional he could be a diva too, asking Vogue. See, there's the pros, the highs, the lows, in betweens. But one thing's for sure: you got on that stage, he was gonna. Bring, well, you seen that clip of the Apollo? When it comes to the broken hearted, him and Boy George, and he he strung all the hairs out of Boy George. The Boy George was out of his element trying to sing with Luther Vandross. You're gonna get embarrassed. You're not gonna be on the stage with that guy who. Go, to this day, remember how being shocked when you saw him and Gregory Hines singing Nothing Better Than Love and Gregory Hanging, the late great Gregory Hines. So many moments. And he was a funky dude musically. Underrated. It wasn't just some stiff neck tie. The guy had grooves to his music. They had him and Marcus Miller. They can't, and that Adam Jr. had some grooves. Bad Boy Having a Party was a, a cookout jam. Act like Luther didn't have no cuts. But he always wanted pop acceptance. Translation he wanted, white acceptance, crossover. Dance with my father. Yeah, no. Sadness, remember when he had a stroke and I saw them picture with him and Clive Davis and that looked demonic if you ask me because he looked like a pinata that was balled up and stuff. And Clive up there taking pictures of him and they were showing it to Oprah. Said, Clive's like, look at Luther, look at Luther. You know how Clive talks like, look at Luther, look at Luther. He didn't look like himself. We never know what everything was like. Oh yeah, I had a book about Luther. Back in the day, I remember the uh, Italian kid that was a singer and that whole thing that went on that car accident. He had to pay that money out of court. That happened today with cancel culture, Me Too. They may have come at him. What was going on? You know, there's a lot of little loose chain stories. And there's a lot of things that just happens. But we still loved him as a, as a musician, singer, songwriter, producer. Arguably the voice of his era, his generation. The man that Marvin Gaye said was the best singer in the world before he moved on to the next life. You know, you just are in awe of a great talent. And you can reflect on it and remember what that time was like. Remember how it made you feel. Maybe remember how it just just uh, took you in. You know, it was uh, incredible. And I went back on a lot of, you know, what he before... You know, he blew up. I went back and, you know, because I would listen to his music. It's just so for harmony. But I will be honest. Kid back in the day, his songs were so long and so sad and depressing. You know, they did work, though, with the ladies. So if you had Luther Ruckett, you, you, that was some good talking. But they were so, so long and depressed. You sit there listening to that song. You're like, oh, man, this song, this, 
But then as you get older and you get maturation in your life, those songs don't last long enough. House is not a home goes seven, eight minutes. You want that song to go 18 minutes when you get 30 and up. It ain't long enough. It's important to see the highs, the lows, and in-betweens and seeing a career. And um, I would recommend it. One of the greatest talents ever. Very compelling. And also very sad story. You know. Him being a black man in a racist industry and also identifying identities and different things and how acceptance and having to do so much and never finding a happy medium. You know, we were grateful, though, to get that talent, though. We won't forget that. As a matter of fact, I still be bumping Nights in Harlem. That's on. But I, and I like how he had a sophistication. He had a, a presentation as a male artist that was never vulgar or you had to cringe. He did keep it classy. That is a lost art in itself. That alone is worth the price of admission. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and share if you like and hit the membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay broke. Real. Stay woke. Respect. And understand talent is important, but a soul of the being is more so. I'm out.